President Mnangagwa delays General Sabanda's appointment to the ZANU-PF Politburo. General Philip Valerio Sabanda of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces ZDF will not be appointed to the Politburo of the ruling ZANU-PF party. According to President Emerson Mnangagwa's decision, concerns over possible inconsistencies with the nation's constitution led to the decision. The Deputy Chief Secretary in the Office of the President and Cabinet Presidential Communications, Mr. George Karamba made the announcement on behalf of the president through a statement. The statement states that after General Sabanda's tenure as the top serving officer in charge of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces ends, his nomination as an ex-officio member of the ZANU-PF Politburo will be reconsidered. The purpose of this deferral is to resolve any alleged inconsistencies with the constitutional provisions dictating the behavior expected of serving security service personnel. President Umingagwa made the first announcement of General Sabanda's appointment at last month's 20th ZANU-PF National People's Conference, which took place in Gweru. But as of right now, the decision is on hold while more research is done. Along with this, national hero C.D. Joshua Teek Malina, who passed away in September, was replaced as Secretary for People with Disabilities in the ZANU-PF Politburo by C.D. Rose Mpofu. Another appointment made by President Mnangagwa. After holding the role of commander of the Zimbabwe National Army, General Sabanda assumed command of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces in December 2017. His military career began during the Second Kimurenga, when he was known as C.D. Ananias Gwenzi and participated in Zipa fighting. After finishing his basic training in Tanzania, he was sent to Lebanon to undergo intense military training under the Palestinian Liberation Organization. The decision by President Umningagwa to postpone General Sabanda's appointment is indicative of his dedication to upholding the nation's constitutional obligations. After General Sabanda's term ends, a review procedure will be conducted by the government to handle any possible conflicts and ensure compliance with the laws controlling the behavior of active security service members.